phytoplankton. Should you use it? Let's get into it. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another video by Serif. In today's episode, I'll be talking about phytoplankton, or phyto for short. Phyto is a marine macroalgae that can be found in the ocean. They are often sold in two forms, either as a live phytoplankton or as a preserved coral food or mixed with other elements. Over the past few years, Phyto has gained quite a lot of traction in the reef keeping hobby and it has moved from just a food source for the organisms in your tank to having other functions such as filtering your water as well as to combat nuisance algae. Today I'll be talking mainly about live phyto and live phyto is a phytoplankton that is still alive and meant to be added directly in your tank. They are often sold either in a bottle or a bag and are often required to be chilled or stored in the refrigerator after opening. As the name suggests, they are alive, so their shelf life is not as long as other coral food that you might have. Generally speaking, most of the live phyto that I've seen, they can be kept inside your fridge for about 4 to 5 months, usually 6 months before they start to change in colour. And when they change in colour, it's usually a sign that they are no longer alive. So the colour is an important factor because that actually tells you if you need to throw away your bottle or your bag of phyto. Just take a look at the colour, it should be a greenish, dark greenish colour. Once it turns brown, it means that it is spoiled or they are all dead so you can throw it away. By the way, it would be super helpful if you could hit the like button and hit the subscribe button as well. I really appreciate the early thumbs up. Dosing phyto is just like any other coral food. There are multiple ways to dose it. You can either broadcast feed it, target feed it or hook it to a dosing pump. Personally, I highly recommend against using a dosing pump because the phyto often settles when left untouched. You usually need to give the bottle or bag a shake before adding it to the tank. Coupled with the fact that it needs to be stored in the fridge, I recommend that you dose it manually. The first reason of dosing phyto is that it can help to lower your nutrients. Phyto utilizes nutrients in the water along with carbon dioxide to reproduce and in this process they actually create essential fatty acids that are critical for the health and development of um, our corals and other organisms in the tank. Personally, I have not experienced phyto lowering my nutrients or maybe it's just because I have not used phyto long enough to know but based on what I've read on forums and the other reefers that I know Using phyto does lower the nutrients, not to a large extent, but it does help with your nutrients control. Dosing phyto can also help with the biodiversity of a tank. As reefers, we constantly try to keep a slice of the ocean in our home, and it is no easy feat. And many times reefers try to replicate the ocean in terms of its biodiversity. Phyto is a food source for many different organisms from small organisms like zooplankton such as cocopods and many other larger organisms such as clams, softies and sponges. So creating an ecosystem by dosing phytoplankton can help with the maturity and stability of the tank. The final use of phyto and is the main reason why I'm dosing phyto is the ability for it to combat nuisance algae. Being an algae itself, phyto will compete with other algae for food sources such as nitrate and phosphate and that may actually help to keep nuisance algae such as cyano and dino at bay. In a few studies done in 2010 by the New Zealand journal Marine and Freshwater Research, Phyto has been said to help to reduce cyano by reducing the amount of nutrients necessary for cyano to thrive. And this nutrients inadequacy actually reduces the growth of cyano in the tank. So for those of y'all who have been following my tank, you will know that I have been facing cyano and dosing phyto is just another way for me to try to cope with the cyano bacteria. Honestly, even if dosing phyto does not get rid of cyano, the benefit of feeding my clam and other organisms within the tank are beneficial to me. 
Of course, dosing phyto might come with some drawbacks, and one main concern that I have is overdosing. As with anything added to the tank, overdosing is a possibility. And I've heard freak cases of people adding too much phyto to the tank, and that created a bacterial bloom or even an algae bloom. Which is why for my tank, I'm actually adding 50% of the recommended amount. In most cases, most manufacturers will recommend to add about 10 milliliters per every 100 liters of tank water daily. But if it's your first time adding, I recommend going half the dosage or even a quarter of the dosage just to ensure that your tank gets used to the amount of phyto that you're adding to the tank. My second worry is in regards to the number of species of phytoplankton. I'm definitely no expert in phyto. But from what I understand, there are close to over a thousand different types of phytoplankton. Just think about that, a thousand different types. And honestly, how companies decide which phyto is best for our tank is a mystery for me. I do believe that some of them do go into extensive research to determine what is the best phyto for a reef tank. But in this case, this is one of the times where I just have to trust the manufacturers and know that what they are doing or what they are recommending and what they have manufactured will be the best for our reef tank. To wrap up, adding phyto might not help with my cyano. I honestly don't know. But I guess it's worth a shot considering the other benefits such as the ability to feed my corals as well as my cocoa pots and maybe even lower some of the nutrients in the tank. I will definitely update you guys as I go along and I will let you know if there's any changes in my tank from dosing phyto. Alright, thank you for watching, stay safe, love the tank, till next time, see ya!